Jonah which are similar to Jesus and some things which are different. Um, for instance, Jesus is crucified while Jonah is thrown in the sea. That, that's different. Uh, there's a very big difference in that Jonah is disobedient and runs away while Jesus is obedient. So that's a fairly big difference. And the other one is Jonah goes to the Gentiles, the, the foreign countries, while uh, Jesus does his ministry within Israel. So there are a few differences. Um, but and, and you quite rightly correct, pointed out that the, the significance with the Jonah event is on time, on the three days. Um, as this, like I read the Bible uh, all the time. I've actually spent part of my holidays. I read the Quran, and so I, I take the scriptures very seriously. But I know that in order to get the full picture of something, you have to read all of it. You have to read the whole book. So I just want to read a bit more of Matthew, where Jesus speaks again about the three days. This is just, just from uh, this is from a translation of the Bible called the NIV. It's Matthew chapter 16, verse 21, and it says, "From that time on, Jesus began to explain to his disciples that he must go to Jerusalem and suffer many things at the hand of the elders, chief priests, and teachers of the law, and that he must be killed and on the third day be raised to life." And so uh, I think when you read all of it, it is saying that the three days I'm going to die. There are, I've got some other references up here as well as to those, but they're all fairly similar where they talk about Jesus dying. Um, I just want to know what you say that, because there are many verses in the Bible, I don't know how much time I want to take up here, but where Jesus says, you know, I, I did die. My son, you have to agree with me that what Jesus was talking about, the sign of Jonah, that sign was a miracle. Sign means a miracle. You have to, it's not a road sign. Stop, yield, go. It's not a it's road sign. There were no road signs in Jerusalem 2,000 years ago. So he's not talking about road signs. He's talking about a miracle. The Jews want a miracle from him. Not a road sign. So Jesus said, my miracle is that of Jonah. And then what the miraculous thing about Jonah is that we expect him to die three times over and he didn't die. You see, if I had a gun and I lose my temper and put six shots through you, to your heart, and it is shattered and you die, is that a miracle? Is that? But those six shots tearing your heart to pieces and you laugh, <laughs> it's a miracle. Yes, yes, that's a miracle, that's a miracle. Six bullets I put through your heart and you still laugh. <laughs> that's a miracle, I'll be terrified of you, do you know that? If that happened, I'll be terrified of you. <laughs> so, Jesus is talking that, look, the miracle mine is that of Jonah. What happened to him is going to happen to me. What happened to Jonah, we expect him to die. We expect him to die at every step. If he died, it's not a miracle. Jesus. If what they tell us about him, he also supposed to die. He is expected to die. If he died, it's not a miracle. If he died, what they did to him and if he died, it's not a miracle. If he didn't die, it's a miracle. So I'm asking, he said, I will be like Jonah. Jonah is alive, you agreed, and Jesus is dead. And that is in your language of the Englishman, it is unlike. In Zulu, I'm asking the Zulus. Goguba Jengo Jona. He said, just like Jonah. So I'm asking the Zulu, is this Jengo Jona or Ngai Jengo Jona? Is this like Jonah or unlike Jonah? And they say it's unlike Jonah. I'm asking the Africana, want Suas Yona. You know, like Jonah, Suas Yona. I'm asking the Africana, is this Suas Yona or Ni Suas Yona? In Arabic, he says, Ya muallimu nuridu an nara minka ayatan fa ajaba wa kala lahum jilun shirirun wa fasikun very strong in arabic this statement of jesus is very very strong compared to the english is jilun this is the, the bible is written by the christian by the way not me jilun shirirun wa fasikun yatlubu ayatan wa la tuta lahu ayata illa ayata yunan al nabiyu liannahu kama kana yunanu fi batn al huti thalasat ayyamin wa thalasa layalin hakaza the word i was looking for was hakaza just like that so i'm asking the arab christian is this hakaza or la hakaza jesus and jonah is it hakaza just like that or la hakaza he says no it's la hakaza so come on you prove now that this statement is is, is, is a revelation from God. The Holy Ghost inspired Matthew to, 
to write it down, then it is proving that Jesus is a, if I was a Jew, I'll never accept Jesus. As a Muslim, I believe in Jesus as the Messiah, one of the mightiest messengers, as a Muslim. But as a Jew, I said, look, this man was put to the test and he failed again and again, he's failing. According to the test that he himself lays on himself, he is a failure, he is an imposter. And as an imposter, we killed him. I would have said that if I was a Jew. But as a Muslim, I say I believe that he was a true messenger of God and you have misunderstood everything. You have misunderstood. May I just say something off the of that? You are right. If you were to shoot me six times through the heart right. and I was just still standing here, that would be a miracle. Of course. But if you were to shoot me six times through the heart and I was to die, be buried, and then I came back to life, that would also be a miracle. Right. Right. So it but still can be a miracle. First, first we have to say that you were dead. Yeah. First, first, first. If I was shot six times through the heart, I would be dead. That's, no, no, that's what says assume now. Now Jesus, look, three days, three days after his alleged crucifixion, he goes to that upper room where they had the Last Supper. I'm giving you another proof that the man didn't die. Proof from his own mouth. He goes to that upper room where they had the Last Supper. And he goes in and he wishes his disciples in the Hebrew language, Shalom Aleichum. Same as Salam Aleichum. We say Salam Aleichum, the Jews say Shalom Aleichum. Same, means peace be unto you. And when he said Shalom Aleichum, his disciples were terrified. I'm reading your John, that the disciples were petrified, terrified. So I'm asking, why would they be terrified? Because when you meet your long lost master, your grandfather, your teacher, your guru, your prophet, your messiah, the Arab and the Jew will embrace one another and that is his way. The Arab and the Jew. <laughs> but instead of doing that, they're terrified. So I'm asking, why were they terrified? So Luke chapter 24, he gives the answer that they were affrighted because they thought he was a spirit. Am I quoting correctly? Are you people who know the Bible, am I quoting correctly? Yes. Correct me. If I'm misquoting, you must correct me. Yes, yes, I know. I can't afford to make a mistake. I don't know. So I said, why would they think, and they thought, they thought he was a, a spirit. So I'm asking, did he look like a spirit? Did he look like a spirit? And everybody says, no. Then I said, why should they think the man is a spirit when he didn't look like one? The Christian is puzzled. Why would they say that they thought he was a spirit when he didn't look like a spirit? So I said, look, I'll help you. I'll help you. You see the disciples of Jesus, they had heard from hearsay people talking that the master was hanged on the cross.